So Gaze for Jesus coming to you from St. Peter's Chair in the St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. As I said earlier, gay is not sin and Jesus is not asking the gay person to change and be straight. Hey people, Jesus is about to return and part of the things of they indicate it when Jesus is about to return is that um, lots of things will happen and these things just are not fly-by-night situation it took a long time in fact what I always say is it took about 5,000 years this complicated things that goes back even thousands of years more uh, and uh, we got to take into account perhaps some of the science of showing that the earth is four billion years old uh, might be questionable and it may be something that God did to prepare everything and uh, I find stuff that indicates there was something before Adam and Eve um, that, that God was very active in those days and basically destroyed life on all the other planets in our solar system and some survivors you know, one of the ways he destroyed life on earth was the flood that was here before um, Adam you know the world was covered in water then he rose that our rose made land uh, made fishes and bushes and and then finally he made Adam and Eve. The word for rib, by the way, means cell from that rib. DNA, genes, and so forth. God took a rib out of Adam, took a cell out of the rib, and with the DNA manipulated it to create woman. That is what the Hebrew word says. Uh, and uh, there is a word that would have meant just simply rib. Both words are used in the Bible a couple of times. And the one that's used in uh, creating Adam and Eve is a word that represents, in our best language today, that means most accurately what it is, is a cell. Anyway, so then God, uh, you know, Adam and Eve sinned and off into um, the world without the garden. Uh, ancient writings uh, that has, was used as Bible for centuries by Christians um, said that um, Adam and Eve uh, experienced quite a change in their living conditions. Life as they knew it changed. Suddenly uh, there was a sun and moon. It was hot and it was cold and and uh, rainy and and they were they they had to do something to make clothes and things like that, keep warm, figure out how to live. You know, it used to be they just go pick uh, food off of trees and bushes. And of course, they made that mistake of eating the wrong one. Of course, they were told not to, but Satan said, "Go ahead." can't hurt you. Well, that of course put the curse on man so that he has to work for a living. So when you're working really, really hard and you're thinking that's a great sign of you're a really good person because you are decent folk working for a living, just remember that's a curse that was put on at the time that Adam and Eve were kicked out of the garden. Lots of people in here, as you can see, zooming all by me. So, and there was uh, more curses that God put on man. Man would think he's the boss of woman. And woman would hurt when she has a baby. And uh, weeds would grow in the ground, make it really tough to, to work. And so, um, I'm out of the way, people taking pictures. So I got to... Um, yeah, they had to work, and, and uh, then, uh, you know, they had babies, and, you know, one of them killed the other, and, you know, the story, and so uh, he was kind of kicked out, and he went off, and, and uh, uh, 
couldn't grow anything anymore, so he invented things. He built cities and so forth. You know, the Bible just right away, he's building cities. You can't have a city without people. So where did the people come from? So this must have been uh, hundreds of years going by before he actually can build cities. Because, you know, with uh, Adam and Eve popping babies out, um, it's going to still take a while before there's a population enough that you can have a city. I don't, you know, somebody can do the math and figure out how two people can multiply, and and, and one of them was kicked out, but somehow ended up with a wife anyway, and uh, another uh, was killed, and so we finally got another one that finally started the population business. Of course, we know that there was supposed to be no other people, no other women, no other men anywhere. You had angels and demons, basically, and. And so, um, so you know, you had babies with your brothers and sisters. Now there's a lot of confusion, you know. Some people like to make the Bible really simple, but it's really technical, really hard sometimes to figure out, you know, how do we get all this stuff? And um, some people want to say that um, these previous uh, survivors before Adam and Eve of all the planets uh, came down and had their way with what women there were and or vice versa you know there's women survivors too that came down had their way with the men or Cain or somebody you know. and that's uh but the Bible doesn't say that the Bible just simply says that Cain went out he had a wife so that must be an Adam he had a daughter daughter and maybe she went wild and, and then went over and married Cain and raise some cain uh, or canets or cain cain but well, anyway you can play with that all you want uh, so uh, he went out and built things uh, music was pretty bad uh, in the beginning because everybody enjoyed it and, and the crowd of God as it were because everybody was God because you start out with Adam and Eve and Cain went off and so you had the group expanding of, of God, which was, of course, uh, you know, Adam's other descendants were uh, pretty faithful. But then Cain, as he built his cities and his fun life, uh, music and, and comfort of living in cities and so forth, uh, more and more of the, as it were, good people of, of the people that stuck with Adam uh, started going over to Cain. You know, you get some books that are used as Bible for a long time. There's nothing particularly to prove them wrong, and there's <laughs> nothing particularly to prove them right. It, as some uh, scholars like to guess, they say somebody needed to figure out how to um, make um, uh, fit in all the pieces that didn't make sense. And, and uh, but then. You got the fig facts that uh, back in those days you were closer to the the, the story. Maybe uh, they had some facts, but being closer to the story doesn't make make you closer to the facts. Because a lot of scholars also like to say that um, Nineveh or whatever had a writing about the flood, and they want to go by that because it's a lot older than Moses' writing. But and they don't even want to mention the fact that God told Moses. So it doesn't matter how old anything is. If God spoke personally to Moses how it was, and that's the way it is. I hope you enjoyed the part one of three parts. Uh, now click on St. Peter's uh, part B and listen to the second part.